I promised myself I wouldn't do this again, and here I am. <laughs> Hello again. Well, as you can see, I'm in the canoe with Simon over there in his one, and uh, currently battling some tidal waves to try and get out to an island. Now, I said well, a couple of years ago now I'd never go back out to these islands, but uh, <laughs> here we are again. So, uh, I'll bring you back when I can film a bit better. You join us on Burntwick Island, which is near Dead Man's Island somewhere. Um, so what are we, halfway to darn it? We're halfway. About that? Yeah. Oh, and Simon's here. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, because I'm using his canoe. But yeah, we just stop for a bite to eat, chill out for a minute. We started off with a bit of a struggle and then uh, we got this nice tide coming in that we kind of rode down. Made life a little easier. Tide and wind. Mm. Mm. Yeah. The wind in our sails. Yeah. Yeah, we've both just eaten sort of Emery lunches. I've got, I don't know, Latvian, I think. You've had, what was yours, English? I had, yeah, I had uh, beef with vegetables and dumplings, which I tried to heat up, but my transier ran out of fuel before it had really heated up. It was all very nice, but the dumplings were still hard. <laughs> I might as well have just picked up a couple of pebbles and put them in there, to be honest. Mm. That was nice. Well, we're on our way again. This is the uh, main stretch now, main part of the river. We're making our way to Darnet Island, where the fort is is where we'll be spending the night and probably well no he's coming up beside me now Simon's right there but uh yeah shouldn't be too bad with the tide and the wind behind us here we go good look at the fort now on the final approach Come 
Ja, hör du? Yeah. <laughs> well, we're finally here. We've got all the gear inside the fort here now. And we've just found the best alcove to camp in because there's a bit of rubbish and the, the floor's a bit kind of messed up here and there. Um, it's all concrete, so it's like a self-supporting tent freestanding. Uh, brand new one to me, just come yesterday. And uh, Simon's got, you've got bivvy bag, haven't you? Bivvy bag, bivvy yeah. bag, which was going to be my other choice. So yeah, just found the best spot. I'm going to set up here. And we've got some fireplaces as well, so we're going to use one of them. That's the nicest fireplace we've got. It's <laughs> cool, isn't it? Cool, what's the time code say? Was that five minutes? <laughs> I think it's on the top of it. <laughs> 26 minutes and nine seconds. <laughs> it's all in the editing. That's how much you got left. You can't see where it says it. I don't know, three minutes, 58 seconds. Not bad. Not bad. That's good. It's a good little tent, isn't it? Tents up there. You've got spreaders on there as well, look. Yeah. Spread them over. But you wish you had one. Mm. <laughs> got my usual Trekology uh, sleep map and uh, the uh, Fathom EV sleeping bag that I've been using all this winter. Because it is still getting down to you know, zero or one degrees tonight. And this cold snack we've got. So I definitely need him that. This is a two manner by the way, so there's loads of room. Keep those rats out. Just setting up the chairs over here by our fireplace. There's a fireplace in every gun placement in this fort. This is the best looking one, so that's why we've kind of set up here. We've got some wood and we're probably going to go over and look for driftwood as well. So it's going to be a nice little spot for us later. Okay, so just having a little walk around the fort here. It's a circular shape and you can see all the way around these are the old gun placements. You've got where the artillery was lifted up and then your gun would be over here by the opening you can see the rail on the floor there so for swivelling it round and firing out through here so it's a Napoleonic era fort, 1870s and this one's a sister to the one I visited a couple of years ago with Tom Outdoors so it's identical. Originally they were supposed to have two layers, two uh, floors of these guns, but because of the marshy ground, they kept sinking. <laughs> and this one, as opposed to the other one, if I show you down here, the lower floor is completely flooded, so we can't be going down there. But... uh very untouched compared to some forts because of uh, its inaccessibility on the island here. There, there is some rubbish away. You've got little bridges here to get into the centre section where we have a tree. And you can kind of get a look around it.
Juhu. <laughs> Going for a, a dip. <laughs> it's like a, yeah, it's like an old bath, isn't it? Walk down and have a little bath in the morning, that. See where the steps go. Got a dead pigeon over here. Nice. <laughs> and the old gated entrance over there. Which I believe some people have canoed through and kayaked through at a lower tide. Someone was kind enough to leave a ladder up here. It's a little bit windy. There's a couple of brick structures up here that apparently from World War One, as sort of lookout posts, but it wasn't active service during that time. You can see Simon down there doing his thing. And if I pan you, you can see where we're set up over there. We've had a walk around the lower level, may as well have a walk around the roof. It's not too much to see up here to be honest. Lovely views though. And this is what they would have seen in World War I as a lookout. There's a lot of old abandoned barges around these islands and if I pan you over you can see that's the entrance tunnel that goes to that gated door that we saw on the lower level with the uh, bridge over it the rickety bridge <laughs> we crossed For sure. A few bits and bobs. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to find some. We've got a bag of wood with us though. We just spent the last half hour looking over our options for tomorrow, where we're going to launch from, looking around where's suitable and stuff. And it looks like it's going to be no later than seven, so it's going to be an early one tomorrow. Um, we need that receding tide to go back the way we came today, uh, swing past some U-boats and get onto uh, another island, the uh, Burnt Wick one we was on earlier, and spend the night there. So we're going to get the fire going and have some dinner for our early night. I can feel the warmth already. Oh, it's better. <laughs> <laughs> Will the chimney work? Well, it's not working much yet. <laughs> no, it seems to just be coming out. There was probably a, some sort of wood burner in here, wouldn't there? Yeah. Yeah. Well, a stove, you know, that pipe here. Yeah. It's probably just going to fill the fort with smoke. <laughs> salad.
we have got some huge, huge steaks, sirloins, just warming by the fire that Simon's brought. He got the uh, fun of doing the fresh food, whereas I have to do the <laughs> stuff that's shelf stable for tomorrow. But they look gorgeous. And there's two each. How nice is this, a fireplace, a camp. It's gonna look lovely when it gets dark, isn't it? <laughs> Just that orange yeah. glow. Yeah, definitely. Got our armchairs, got yeah. our fireplace. <laughs> I'm sure we can uh, rustle up a lantern or two between us. Oh yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that feels nice, it really is getting cold now, isn't it? Yeah, the temperature's yeah, that dropping. Temperature, that temperature's dropped massively. use the, <laughs> the grill from the fire drop as a scoop just to get some coals in there. I've got plenty of heat in these. They're, they're warmed through pretty much, although I've been having to rotate them a bit. This is literally just a, oh that's hot. <laughs> Uh, kind of like, you know, brown them off, get some colour on there, get some of that nice flavour going on. And we'll just get the grill back on. PCF Hot Sauce, they've got some dry rub mixes. Um, and Michael sent some of these to me a while ago and I still haven't got around to using them, so I thought I would try these out on these steaks. Cool idea, a little sachet. A little sachet, and then I've got some really nicely seasoned salt here, with all sorts of nice, yummy things in. I'm just going to season the side that goes down. A little sizzle there, and I'll season the other side. on that. Woo. I'm on Simon's steak number two. Simon's <laughs> still on number I'm still one. Number one. I haven't cooked number two yet. Ooh. Is there any more mushroom sauce? Mm. Can you sauce me up a ding dong? Absolutely mate. Perfect. Mushroom sauce and sirloin steak. Mm. That first one was perfect. I like kings. Kings of our castle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fire in the fireplace. Mm. Steak. Beer. Mm. Beer. Mine's over there. <laughs> mm. Seeing as we have such an early start tomorrow, we thought if we cook some bacon up and boil a couple of eggs, we've got something either to have before we leave or en route.
Well, it's that time, an early night for us both, because of an early rise. It's been a nice evening, hasn't it? Absolutely. Even if it was pretty full, not much downtime. But a short evening, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, quite a short evening. Plenty to do tomorrow. Good night. Oh, man. This gap between these barges is where our launching point is. So it's a lot rockier down there, a lot of the mud around here you just can't wade in. So we're gonna get going down there. Well, it's a beautiful day. Hardly any wind. It's just lovely. Just paddling away from the Darnet Island now, saying goodbye to the fort. And uh, we're going on the other side of the river, probably underneath a couple of old jetties. And uh, we're in search of these U-boats that uh, were brought here to scrap many, many years ago. couldn't ask for more ideal conditions. Hey. It's beautiful, isn't it? Just drifting along. Couldn't ask for more perfect conditions. Lovely, isn't it? So still. Just so beautiful out here this morning. It was worth getting up early for. <laughs> Not that we had much choice. 
to catch the tides wrong. <laughs> you get stranded on some mud. It's not going to be fun. Be there for hours. So hopefully we'll get to see these subs and get over to the island with enough time. All about timing. You can't paddle to certain areas at low tide and you can't get onto the islands either. Got a couple of seals and a couple of gulls just on the beach. Over there we can just about see the U-boat but uh, we can't really get to it the tides too low for the channel over here and this uh, bit of land we're on here is just this horrible mud really difficult to walk in Simon is Seeing if he can skirt around, having a little recce. But uh, I don't think it's going to be possible. This is just a maze of this mud channels that flood. now just waiting for this tide to come in it's nearly there so we can actually just push off and then we gotta paddle over to the island and um, that's gonna be mostly against the wind and the tide so it's gonna be a little bit of a slog but we can do it we can do it we can do it Whee! <laughs> Scraping a bit. all our stuff off the canoes and up to a, a high spot that won't flood and it's a pretty barren island but there's kind of remnants of things that have happened here like wartime things and 
obviously some kind of hull from a ship right in a way here there's a lot of um, nesting geese but that's kind of more over that way so we're going to leave them to it and sort of get set up Right, that's pretty much the same setup as last night, obviously, because that's what I have with me. Just the foil mat, the uh, inflatable mat, and the sleeping bag. Um, pitched very nicely, actually. I'm very happy with it. And uh, Simon's gone for the canoe to block the wind, whereas the other one's behind this tent as well, just because we've got a like, kind of northeasterly wind, I guess. And he's, yeah, tarped up as well. Not that there's going to be any rain. He just likes the way it looks. Let's keep the wind off. <laughs> it's a wind block. <laughs> yeah, it will help. Yeah, so all set up. In good time. Yeah. Yeah, man. been doing a spot of the old mud larking found this nice bottle which is uh, some prescription company of London and got a nice old clay pipe with a ram design on it quite a nice complete one actually keep that one use that tonight so we don't leave a fire scar. Might put some, there's bits of concrete and stuff around, we'll put that under there. Handy. Got it.
bass. <laughs> get flying going, then the bass just goes. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that is a. I think it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good, Nick, doesn't it? Yeah, handy find. Make this really um, find. would last a bit longer, won't it? Mm. And the fact it's got these is brilliant. Yeah, I'm using the uh, billy can, so. You got 14? Yeah, so, that I think that'll work. Be all right, right. That should reach it, shouldn't it? We're going simple tonight with pasta, as I picked the day. Well, I was left with the day <laughs> for the. Uh, couldn't have fresh stuff. Oh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Oh, yeah. Just works, just it? about. Right. Brilliant. So, it's passed up. Ooh. Oh, it's oh, cold. That's controversial. <laughs> Oh, I know. People do moan about that. It really makes no difference. No. <laughs> it really does. There we go. Decanted salt just to heat through. There we go, we've divided it out. Bit of cheese in. Perfect. This is one of them well earned meals. <laughs> Bloody right it is. Collected wood a little bit. No, we'll get through that. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> well, this is burning quite well. Feeding that on piece of like birch has yeah, done yeah. well. Yeah. It's just how dry it is. They chuck out some good flames, don't they? Yeah, this is going well. Yeah. Really 
get to a lot of the island, can you? Because there's yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. like interlinking web of channels and stuff, so you can't really explore too much of the island itself. But it's nice. It's peaceful. Isn't it? That's it. Yeah. Peace. Yeah. Peace and seclusion. Yeah. It's lovely. I do love an island. This was such a good find. Handy. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder how many people have used it. Oh, I hope lots. <laughs> Maybe that's why there's no fire pits. Mm. <laughs> Everyone's used this. Everybody's used it. <laughs> Hundreds of times. Come back in years' time, a few years, and see if it's, it's still, still here. here. Yeah, I bet it is. <laughs> why not? Well, pretty much just up, about half five, and it's straight into uh, packing away. The uh, tide is receding, so we have to catch it on our way out, otherwise we're going to get stuck in the mud. We have timed this, hopefully well. All packed away, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Now we're all packed away. <laughs> um, I'm going to leave it here for the video. Uh, just a bit of a paddle back, which should be an easiest paddle, along with the tide. Should be. Should be. <laughs> and it looks pretty calm out there too. Yeah. Lovely. Barely any wind, so it should be a nice one. We're going to go past Dead Man's Island, which uh, apparently has exposed bones on it from ex-prisoners that were buried there, but. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to get on it because the tide's going down and our luck with tides yeah. <laughs> and, and extra yeah. activities hasn't worked out. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been a good one. I've got out to the other fort. I've done the trifecta of forts here now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's been a pleasure. It has, as always, <laughs> mate. <laughs> well, we need to get paddling, so yeah. thank you for watching. Uh, check out Simon's video for the other side of the story. <laughs> I'll see you all soon. <laughs> Goodbye. Cheers.